Hello, this is Dr. David Maza, and today I just wanted to demonstrate how to establish a, one of the compensating curves, which is the curve of speed on SAM3 articulator. As you see on this case, the maxillary cast is already mounted on the SAM3 articulator using an axiomatic transfer assembly jig, that is the um, U-shaped fork, and also an axioquick transfer fork articulator assembly, that is the u shape that is going to be acting like a lever to establish a good support for the maxillary cast to be mounted. So I'm just going to remove that um, axial quick transfer bow system and I'm going to replace it with an incisal pin. So the incisal pin is going to be placed. We have already mounted the mandibular cast based on the maximum intercuspation bite registration. So I'm just going to place it there. I'm going to bring it together. I want to make sure that it's all on the zero. So it's, everything is good. Maximum intercuspation. We have also another mounting on the centric relation, but in this case, just the maximum intercuspation is going to be used. Um, what I'm going to be planning to do, I'm going to be using our Win 2000 occlusion plate analyzer to go ahead and establish the curve of speed. This this um, Win adapter 2000 is going to be established and is going to be secured under the two screws. The first screw is going to be the uh, maxillary mounting plate, and the other one is going to be incisal pin assembly. So I'm just going to be loosening them up, both of them, sliding it underneath. And then I'm going to be securing the screws. So the Win adapter 2000 plate is already secured. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place a plastic record card on the adapter. I'm going to be removing the maxillary cast for better demonstration of the um, occlusal plane analysis. What I'm going to be planning to do, I'm going to have a compass. I've opened the compass to 4 inches, which is going to be 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters. So it's already, previously it's already taken care of. We need two points. The first point is a um, ASP or anterior survey point which is going to be the distal incisal angle of the um, canine, mandibular canine. So what I'm going to be placing, I'm going to be placing the center point of the compass on that angle. Then I would go ahead and apply a long arc using the um, graphite lead. So as it's secured, I'm going to be drawing, applying an arc. And my PSP or posterior um, survey point is going to be the distal buccal cusp of the second uh, mandibular molar. So I would secure that, and these two arcs are going to be coinciding in one point. And that point and that spot is going to be the center of the curve of speed, or is going to be the um, center for the um, compensating curve. So if I place one side of my um, compass on that point, so center point of the compass is going to be placed at the intersection of the two arcs. I could go ahead and place, I can draw my one of my compensating curves, which is going to be curve of speed. And this should be also um, repeated at the other side, for it is the right side of the patient, and also for the left side of the patient. And sometimes we could place a beauty wax or a um, red wax, and we're going to scribe on that wax, we're going to establish a curve of speed and curve of Filson. I'm sorry, just a curve of speed is one of the compensating curves from the sides. Thank you.